The cicadas are coming in days. Millions of them. We've seen how folks are preparing, buying clothes and hats, even rackets to fight these guys off. New at six, though, reporter Raven Richard tells us why you might want to turn your eyes to your trees. When it comes to cicadas, if you have larger trees in your yard, those are probably fine. But if you have younger trees with thin branches, well, you could run into something called tree flagging. What's tree flagging? And here's your normal branch and it just like flops down. This is where the lady cicada has laid her eggs and it just uh, flops down. And then I, the leaves turn all brown because they're, you know, they're not getting water and nutrients that they need. Here's the good news. It's not every tree. But the bad news, if it's a very small tree and a lot of cicadas are laying all over it, then that can really damage the tree because, you know, it's damaging a lot of that live tissue. Sue Trusty is an associate professor in the University of Cincinnati's horticulture program. She explains how the damage is done. And they may stab it, you know, a bunch of times and lay a bunch of eggs, a single cicada. So here you have this little twig that's pencil width and has all these little stabs in it. She says it's most common with oak, maple and fruit trees, but it can happen to any woody plant. There's no insecticide. We don't recommend that. What we recommend is that if you have these small trees that you actually cover the tree with netting. Or you can hold off on planting new trees until brood 10 is out of here. In Cincinnati, Raven Richard, WCPO 9 News.